All right, in this video we're checking out the C01 Pro FPV camera from the FPV. This is going to be for your whoop style micros. Pretty tiny camera, 1200 TV lines. Um, I'll put all the specs here up on the screen. It's got a small uh, 0.8 connector here instead of the one millimeter connector that you typically would see. But this is what commonly is found on the um, newbie drone products on the B Brain Lite, I believe. And in fact, that's what I did is I took one of these and put them on, replace the uh, newbie drone camera and put the beautiful FPV camera on here. The plug fits and it's the same pinout. Um, and this is what it was on there before. I'll show you a comparison in a minute here. In the box you get the camera, the connector obviously, you get this injection molded canopy. It's the same shape as their uh, previous canopy that was very fragile, but this is a totally different material. Um, does seem like it would be a lot tougher and has hold, held up pretty well in crashes. Has this new mounting mechanism here for the uh, camera. So you slide the camera into this little mount here and then you use the included screws to screw it into the top of the canopy. Um, this, uh, according to the specs, this is what's come in two different sizes of mounts here a uh, one third inch and a one quarter inch mount for two different size cameras. Um, but this one only came with the one that fits for the C01, so I'm not sure if that's a because I got an early production release or not. I'm not sure, but I suppose if it does come with the bigger mount, then you could use different cameras with this canopy. I think that's what their goal was. But yeah, this um, we'll, uh, we'll see if other colors come out, and I'll see how it holds up on the long run in terms of crashes. But it seems to be okay so far. It's, this is um, supposed to be 0.1, sorry, 1.96 grams. So let's see how much this actually weighs. And just about, yeah, that seems accurate. 0.97 and then with the canopy and the mount there comes in at 3.52. On the screws here and two screws makes it 3.60 for the setup as you would see here. And comparing that to what it replaced. This is one of the reports. This is the Newbie Drone Goober Canopy and their Newbie Drone Camera 3.17. So the Beta FPV is definitely heavier, but you can see the, can the Goober Canopy has a lot of a lot less material, of course. It does seem like it's the material is similar. It's a little bit thinner on the Goober, but the, this is a very tough canopy. And the camera obviously comes with the same connector here, as you can see. But this, this camera, uh, the board is a bit bigger. So I think if you, I didn't pull the camera up, I think this camera actually weighs a little bit more than uh, the Beta FPV camera, but the canopy and other mounting hardware makes this whole setup way a bit more than the Newbie Drone setup. Okay, so like I said, I flew it on this, the B-Brain Lite. Um, did some outdoor flying, and I think that's where this is going to be like the best in bright lights and bright lighting conditions. The camera is pretty solid, um, pretty good wide dynamic range. Uh, the field of view is pretty wide, like 160 degrees. It's eh, it's a little bit fisheye, not terrible. Um, where I think an indoors, it's okay. Uh, low light is okay. I mean, it's just that when you get to extremely low light, so like almost dark conditions, then you it pretty much just the uh, image goes completely black. It doesn't go to where and a lot of other cameras will get very dim. Um, it'll get a lot of noise in the video. This just kind of just goes totally black. So if you're in a situation where you're flying in, say, lights completely off and only flying LED gates, which it's a situation I don't fly and I don't have that situation. I wasn't really able to simulate that, so. But I think it might be an issue in this camera. I don't really know. I'd have to get a bunch of LED gates and turn all the lights off and then fly. But when I flew it in a situation where there's absolutely no light, then it goes completely pitch black. So, eh, I don't know if that's nitpicking there or not, but yeah, I just want to let you guys know that's what I experienced in moderately low light to bright conditions. I thought the camera was pretty good you know, in terms of like how you know fair to other cameras but yeah um, I don't know I'll just show you the footage you guys can sort of determine yourself as to what you think of the camera very subjective of course and of course you can't change any settings in this guy so you know uh, it is what it is so go ahead and show you the footage indoor outdoor flights you guys let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you guys in the next one